What's going on guys, it's Hellfire with MachineMasters.com and I got the new MPC 1.8 update in front of me and I just want to quickly show you guys how to perform manual chopping which is what we like to call lazy chopping. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, see I'm in sample edit already and I got my sample loaded up. It's a pretty familiar sample. You guys probably know what it is already. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to zoom in on the front of my sample and I just want to knock off any dead air that's there because I don't want that in my uh, in my slices. So let's go ahead and uh, discard that. Let's focus on the end marker. Zoom in on there. And we can go ahead and knock that off. You can also see that we got a uh, zoom in and out on the F keys now, which the MPC Studio guys are really gonna embrace because they don't have to go back and forth with the Q link. They can just zoom right from the F keys. Um, so next thing we wanna do is we wanna go into chop mode by pressing F1. So we got our sample all trimmed up, ready to chop. We're in chop mode. Uh, now, as I mentioned in the preview video, this new Q field is what dictates where the MPC software is gonna uh, insert slices. So by default, it's at zero. Um, I can move this to wherever I want and wherever I leave it and press slice plus, it's gonna add a slice there. Okay, so you can go through you know, uh, any part of the sample and you can add your slices that way. But to me, that's the boring way. Um, the fun way is by doing it in real time as the sample plays back. Um, so in this case, I want to chop this thing pretty much from start to end. And I want my first slice to be at the very beginning of the sample. So I'm going to put my cue back to zero and I'm going to add a slice which is gonna put my slice right at the very top of the sample. Um, now the next thing one I wanna do is I wanna trigger the playback of the sample. Now I can do that one or two ways. I can hit the green pad, which is um, the selection of my first slice, or I can just press F5 to play Q. Either way, we'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna hit the pad and just hit F6 to add my slices. Okay, so you can see, um, you know, within a matter of seconds, we already have something uh, that we can work with. We go back to bank A, we can preview what we have so far. Just move right along from here. We can move our cursor to another point in the song. We can uh, pick up chopping from there. So let's say this is where I want to continue from. What I'm going to do now, I, I, I put my cue there. Um, I can audition that from the play cue over and over. As long as I leave it here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue to play back from that location. So that's where I want to start chopping from again. So I'm going to insert a slice there and that's going to put my next slice on this pad here. You got to be good to me. I'm going to be good to you. Okay, so there we have another part to work with. And, uh, you know, you could just keep going through the, the sample just like that and uh, just keep adding slices as, as, as you go. You can jump to any section of the sample you want. And the only thing that's going to be kept is whatever has a slice marker on it. So um, let's say I have everything I want now. You can go back to the beginning. You can zoom in on these bad boys. <coughs> And you can tighten them up real nice, like. You know, so you can 
go through this pretty quickly. Get these things tightened up. So you can see, you know, within a matter of a minute or two, I got, you know, um, a pretty good amount of, uh, of samples uh, sliced up already uh, to use. So we can go ahead and play around with this. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you can you can get a groove going really, really quickly. Now I got my slices exactly where I want them. Now the next thing I could do if I want is I can go up to the link field, which is gonna uh, adjust link slices. If I turn that off, I can go back to my slices and I can set them to overlap each other. And there's no limits on where they can overlap so any slice can go all the way back to the beginning if you want it or all the way to the end right so and then once you're satisfied with all your slices you can go ahead and press shift which is going to bring up your secondary f keys which is where your convert is going to be. Um, here you can also remove unwanted slices. So if I don't want this slice that's green, which is the one that's selected, I can hit F6 while holding shift and it's going to remove that slice. Um, if I don't want any of the slices and I just want to uh, start over, I can press F5 and that's going to let me uh, delete all the slices and I can start over completely and, and rechop the sample uh, uh, from the beginning um, now once you're happy with all your slices you can go ahead and you can just convert it and uh, you have a whole bunch of uh, conversion options here which I'll go over uh, more detailed in another tutorial um, but for now chop away enjoy it have fun and uh, catch me on the next one peace <laughs>